Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth, and I'm an indie game developer working on a retro-inspired cyberpunk puzzle game called Unread Messages. I'm really excited because this week I have a nice long weekend perfect for working on a ton of game dev stuff, and I have a lot to do. I'm planning on launching my game in less than a couple months, it's just like next month, which is crazy, and I still have a lot of levels to build and a lot of content to write, so that's mostly what I'm going to be working on this weekend. First though, I need to make a plan, because I want to make sure that I make the best use possible of this time, and so I'm going to figure out exactly what I'm going to do and in what order I'm going to do it. So I was going to start off with outlining more of my narrative, but I realized as I started doing that, that some of my narrative content depends on when certain mechanics are introduced. So I've switched over to working on planning out my levels first. Planning them out helps me make sure that all my levels are cohesive and have a good difficulty ramp. Um, and so I'm just going to write down how many messages are going to be in each, which mechanics are going to be in each, um, even which colors the messages are going to be so that there's a nice variety. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to do that for all 60 levels. And once I'm done, I'm going to either switch back to working on narrative content and outlining and writing, or I might start building some levels instead. So we'll see. Well, it's late afternoon now, and I've just finished planning all of the levels for my game. Now I have a rough blueprint for every level to consult when I go to build them. So it'll help keep me on track and make sure that there's a nice difficulty curve. Next, I'm going to switch back to what I was going to do first, which is further outlining the narrative for my game. I like to approach planning stories with a sort of start with the big picture and then narrow down to the details sort of strategy. I already have my overall outline, so now it's time for me to start working on some of those details. To create this overall outline, and I'm not going to show it to you because I don't want to give you any spoilers, um, I first started off by really brainstorming about what I wanted the world to be like, what I wanted the characters to be like, and some of the events I wanted to happen in the game. And I've been doing this for a while now, like it's been several months that I've been kind of thinking about this stuff. And once I felt like I had a pretty good handle on my characters and the world and sort of the direction I wanted the story to go, I started constructing this overall outline by cutting up bits of index cards <laughs> and this is actually my favorite outlining method for like a linear sort of story this is what i used um, with my novel and some of my shorter stories i like to take index cards and cut them up and then i think of every event that could possibly happen in the story and i write them down on these little index card pieces 
once I have a good number of them, so I think I, for, for unread messages, I wrote down 13 or 14, I can then start arranging them into a sort of logical order. I like to follow sort of a rough three act structure. So I have nine plot points that are all equidistant from each other that represent like key events, key turning points. And those points form the skeleton on which my whole plot can hang. So once I have all of my little events, I like to lay them out on a table and start kind of arranging them into an order, you know, depending on which events I think need to happen before or after other ones. And I start to pick out the ones that I think are like major events, events that are going to be very um, critical to moving the plot forward. And I mark those, I've marked them with little red dots on them so that I know where my events are. From there, once I have all nine of my plot points picked out, then I take my other non-plot point events and decide, you know, which ones I want to keep, which ones I don't want to keep. I ended up keeping all of the ones I wrote down for this, so I, I liked all of them and I already had a pretty decent idea of where the plot was going to go, so I just kept all of them. And I arrange those in between my main plot points to kind of flesh out the story so that there's things happening in between the main plot points. So that's how I made my overall outline. But I have to get from that down to individual lines of dialogue that are going to go in each chapter. To get there, I'm first going to write out a one sentence description of the events that are going to happen in each level. This is sort of that next step in going from only knowing the big picture to knowing all of the little details that I need to write the story. I have a lot of these levels to write descriptions for, so this is probably gonna take me the rest of the day. I'll just get done what I can and pick it up again tomorrow. So it's Saturday evening and uh, I didn't work on the narrative at all. I was going to and then I started working on a bug and then I decided it sounded fun to add a feature in where you can rotate the map to see it from different angles. Um, I thought that would only take me a couple hours but it took me a bit longer and here's Max. Max, would you like to say hello? No, he just wants, he wants pets. Hi, buddy. I just finished adding that feature in and I'm about to go ride my horse, but I realized that I've never shown you guys my horse before. So I figured I'd take you along to the barn with me.
So I've gotten about a quarter of my chapters outlined, so I did still get some work done on the narrative this weekend, even though it wasn't as much as I was originally hoping to. Despite that, I'm still really happy with everything I've gotten done this weekend. I've, I've got all my bugs fixed, I've got a cool new camera feature, and I've got the start of some levels built and my narrative outline. I've also just gotten the track for the first chapter from my composer, so I'm really excited to start integrating that into the game. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.